Tropical deciduous forests, also known as monsoonal forests, are found in a belt along the equator between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, as well as the humid subtropics. They are also found in parts of Africa, India, South America, Central America, and small islands in the Pacific. Tropical deciduous forests experience 80 to 90 percent humidity throughout much of the year, and the average temperature is 30 degrees Celsius year round. One of the most defining characteristics of monsoonal forests is their seasonality. As temperatures begin to warm, the intertropical convergence zone shifts, resulting in a period of high precipitation in those regions. In the winter, the ITCZ changes again, and this results in a period of dryness. During this dry period, many trees shed their leaves as an adaptation to conserve water. When most people think of a monsoon, they think of a torrential downpour of rain, but a monsoon is actually a shift in the direction of air masses. During the summer, maritime equatorial and tropical air masses travel from the ocean onto land as the temperature rises. When the air masses arrive on land, they are uplifted by either convection or convergence of air, which leads to precipitation. Particularly in India, orographic uplift is a large factor in promoting rainfall. As air travels through India, it is uplifted by the Himalayan mountains, causing cloud formation and precipitation. In the winter, high pressure zones in inhabit the area and inhibits most precipitation causing a period of dryness. Due to the dry season, tropical deciduous forests have a lower biodiversity than tropical rainforests, but don't let that fool you. Tropical deciduous forests can have up to 200 different species in one hectare. The dominant vegetation that occupies tropical deciduous forests are called rain green fauna because trees leaf out during the first heavy rains following the dry season and display a lush green growth. Typically, lianas, epiphytes, teak, Bamboo and other ferns and shrubs consist of the dominant vegetation in this region. Due to the lack of precipitation, the forest is not as dense as a tropical rainforest. This means that trees do not grow as closely together and therefore a continuous canopy is never developed. This allows more light to reach this forest floor where a dense undergrowth can begin to form. These forests are also home to monkeys, deer, large cats such as the Bengal tiger, parrots, and other various birds and insects. Many trees, such as the cheek tree, have developed numerous methods to conserve water as a result of the dry season. A large majority of trees drop their leaves because having leaves is very costly when water resources are limited. A large amount of moisture can be lost through evapotranspiration, so the trees lose their leaves in order to conserve as much water as possible. Another adaptation that the vegetation has undergone is the development of waxy surfaces and drip tips on the leaves of many plant species found in monsoonal forests. This promotes drainage when precipitation levels are high and prevents the growth of bacteria. Many of the trees are also adapted to wild wildfires as well. The bark on the majority of the trees found in tropical deciduous forests is thick and coarse and is able to withstand extreme heat from wildfires, and the roots of most trees extend deep into the soil in order to have access to the groundwater. Much like the rainforest, habitat fragmentation is a large issue that tropical deciduous forests are experiencing today. One study suggested that as habitats become more fragmented, it will be less efficient for birds to move from one habitat to another and therefore seed dispersal will decrease. This could lead to less regeneration and more extinction as a result. In order to combat this, we need to create corridors and safe passages that facilitate dispersal. In the northwestern Ghats of India, the World Wildlife Foundation has created a conservation landscape as a result of land clearing. Through conservation practices, the WWF has been able to preserve these landscapes to the best of their ability. Tropical deciduous forests are a very special biome that exists on the earth today. They are home to thousands of species you can't find anywhere else in the world and are a valuable asset to the biodiversity of the planet. Considering the threats posed on the tropical deciduous forests, we must do everything we can to combat the degradation of this very unique biome.